Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Diane, and in this video, I want to show you how to create digital tie-dye patterns in Photoshop. Um, and I also want to announce the release of my brand new product on Creative Market, and they are a set of 12 Photoshop brushes called Shibori digital tie-dye. So in this video, I also want to walk you through how to use the Shibori digital tie-dye brushes for Photoshop. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So just to give you a little bit of a rundown on my brand new Photoshop brush set, they're called Shibori digital tie-dye brushes. So when you first download them, and I actually sell this on my creative market shop, the Shibori digital tie-dye brush set also comes with small guidebook. Here in this guidebook, I have a Shibori brush guide. There's a lot of different ways to create patterns in Photoshop. This is what I would actually suggest that you do first is to do a quick Google search on Shibori tie-dye and to see if there are any patterns that inspire you and see how you can create the same exact pattern with the Shibori brushes that I've created. So if you take a look in the Shibori brush guide, there's a bunch of different variations of brushes I've made. There's the Shibori diamond, Shibori half diamond, there's the Shibori cross, there's also an ink blot, there's also a Shibori pattern squares, and there's just a little bit of variation in Shibori squares and lines. There's also some vertical lines, some ink blots. The last one is a Shibori texture that you can kind of like apply like a distressed kind of look to it. If you just go in, I give you quick pro tips on how to install the brushes in Photoshop and get them working so that you can start creating a pattern. And then I've also put together this like short guide on how to create the Shibori diamond pattern. Let's dive right in into an actual pattern that I've set up in Photoshop already. This is a pretty simple pattern. You can see here that I've varied the shape. So I actually use this Shibori vertical ink blot. So I've set up each of these shapes in separate layers. Do that so that you can easily manipulate them. So for example, this one here, this is a background and what I've done is I've lowered down the opacity to about 30%. If you press V on your keyboard, which will bring you back to the move tool, you can see that if you click on all of these separate parts, you could see that this is still the Shibori vertical ink blot. And you can press the right and left brackets on your keyboard to actually increase or decrease the size of the brush. If you wanted to paint it, you can see that I've painted on an actual layer that's already got the opacity bumped down to 30%. So I'm just gonna undo that. You'll see that I've just kind of repeated the same brush, but in different sizes. Here I've faded it out in other areas. So I've used maybe three different brushes in this composition. For this one, I actually made a folder for this whole group, but it's the same one. I've repeated it twice. I've actually flipped it vertically so you can get different shapes and different variations in this pattern. So the way that I would go about creating a pattern like this is I would actually start with a background color. So I started with a baby blue color and then I faded some of the layers to kind of give it like more of a two dimensional look, but it's up to you. There's so many different ways that you can experiment with this. You can see here, this is actually a brush, this horizontal line here. What I've actually done with that is I've erased it, different parts of it to give it that faded look. So again, it's gonna be up to you how how you want to create the pattern and some of these patterns have actually just increased the size of the brush and I've like moved it around just to get a different variation and then this one is actually this brush here, the Shibori vertical line. So you can see that there's quite a few different variations. And then you can also create a diamond pattern. You can go ahead, try this one out. This is the Shibori diamond pattern. You can also vary this up with different colors, different placements of the brushes. 
You can increase the sizes of the brushes, you know, create your own unique pattern. There's so many different ways to experiment. These are actually available on my Creative Market Shop. You can head over to my Creative Market Shop really quick. Here we have the Shibori tie-dye and it's actually on sale right now. It's only $9. Feel free to try it out. Let me know what you think. You can create some awesome print, whatever you want to use it for, whether it's for creating home goods, anything from bedding to printed projects or even like a pattern for a tablecloth. Yeah, so just have fun with it. I also sell my work on Redbubble. This is just an example that I mocked up so you can kind of see the full range that this brush set can create patterns. If you have any questions, please feel free to you know add comments below this video. Let me know if you're having trouble or if you need help. I definitely would love to hear your feedback and if you are interested in brush sets like these, let me know what kind of new brush sets for Photoshop that you'd like me to make. I'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Bye.